Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Barbara from Barbar Paper Lover and I hope you are ready to experiment with me. Today we're going to do something uh, that I have on my creative to-do list for even years. Uh, a few years ago I saw on Facebook, I believe, uh, or Instagram, no, Facebook, um, a post from an artist, sorry, I cannot remember her name, but she did not like Trump. <laughs> and uh, what she did, um, uh, she had a very big book with blank pages and every day he was in office, uh, she burned a hole in that page. And in the end of the video, she had a very big book with a lot of pages with a lot of burnt holes in that. I really uh, like that uh, idea behind it. Uh, and how she transferred it to paper with that wood burner tool. Um, and I really love the effect uh, on paper. It made grungy holes. It was black. It was blistered. Um, yeah, I really love that texture. So I put it on my creative to-do list. I did not have a wood burner tool. Um, but I put it on my creative to-do list. Uh, as And you may recognize that creative to-do lists only gets longer and longer instead of shorter. So I forgot about that idea. But recently, uh, a Dutch Instagrammer, Paper and Such, she makes beautiful work. She also used a wood burner to burn holes in her paper. And I was stunned by uh, that work. Uh, so now it was on the top of my wish list again. <laughs> Uh, and I saw at a craft store, uh, It's Action, uh, that's close by, uh, that they sold a wood burner tool. So I got it today. And what I want to do now is experiment on paper. I know it works on paper, but I want to know all kinds of paper. I want to know new paper, uh, vintage paper, uh, uh, thin tissue paper, thick cardstock, uh, everything. I want to know how it reacts to uh, glassine, to uh, vellum, to transparencies. And I also want to know how it reacts to other kinds of embellishments. I have them all laying around here. Um, I even got antique thicker photos, vintage photos, uh, cheesecloth, uh, another vintage ribbon, uh, tea bags. Uh, like a film strip, it's, it's like transparency even, a photo from a vintage book, uh, this is from the Tim Holtz collection, um, and this is also from Tim Holtz, it's a transparency, this is um, yeah, coffee paper, playing cards, I've got a whole lot here. And what I want to do is to test it all out, how it reacts to the wood burner tool. Uh, yeah, and if you want to do it, uh, also run to action if you are in the Netherlands or you have an action nearby. It's in stores now and it's pretty uh, affordable priced. What I also have laying on my desk is this cork for heat protection. Under there, there is a silicone baking mat. And yeah, that is uh, all that I have here. I also put open, uh, uh, I opened my window. So you may hear some people walking by talking or maybe a car in, in a few moments. Because right now I'm going to burn holes in all kinds of materials. And I really want it uh, to have a ventilated area. So if you're doing it by yourself, it's at your own <laughs> risk. Do not sue me. I warned you by the uh, by now. Um, this wood burner tool came with all kinds of nibs, bigger, smaller, flats. Um, uh, yeah, but I only put up one. I cannot touch it. It is turned black. I see, so it's really hot right now. This little tip I put on, and yeah. Let's just start burning all this paper. Um, is there a plan? No. I think it's interesting to first see how it reacts to all kinds of paper. So I will 
uh, yeah, I will put down the specialty paper on one pile. Oh, be careful. This is normal paper. This is over here. Some tags, book paper. This is ripped. I don't I do not know the name. This is a stamp. Index card, music paper, vellum. This is like cardstock. Braille paper. Uh, vellum is specialty. And this is a thicker um, uh, overhead sheet. And so we have normal paper, special paper. And this is like uh, normal copy paper. So let's start with the first one. This is normal copy paper. It is thicker copy paper. And just, oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> Did you hear the sizzling? Can I, can you hear? Ooh. Oh, do you see the smoke? Oh my. I really love it. Can I draw? Oh, this is, this is really beautiful. If you have a smoke alarm, do not do it at your smoke alarm. This works beautifully. Look at that crunch. This is the back. Oh my, it's, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's smelling in here. <laughs> Oh my, uh, this smells nice. It's normal paper. Um, it smells nice. Oh, okay, you see, it's like tiny bits of charcoal. Really love this effect. And this is also a thicker copy paper, only another color. So I think it is the same. Yeah, you have to, it's so hot. I have to do it very carefully. And this is also a thicker cardstock. Yes, it's all the same. Okay. Then other kinds of normal paper. This is, um, it is vintage. It is thin paper. I think I have can touch it very lightly. Yes, very lightly. Very lightly. You hear me uh, blowing because I'm afraid it catches fire. Look at that. Can I make a bigger hole? Oh, I have to be careful. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm catching fire really stunning i hope you can see how it looks on the back and really love the burnt edges stunning braille paper yeah i think this is all just oh, this is a cool tool oh and you oh oh this is cool it has a circle if you uh where the nib ends and it looks like this this is cool. All right. There's already ashes on my uh, desk. Postage stamps. When you push in lightly, it makes tiny holes. And I really love that effect. Ooh, tiny. Okay, this is yeah this this will all work. This is all also vintage paper. Yeah. Really cool effect. This is uh, an index card. Thicker paper also. I have to push it a little bit harder right now. can see the effect uh, very good on this one 
This is the, the cardstock, ripped cardstock. First on this side. Oh, I have to be careful. I'm getting enthusiastic right now. I, but I cannot burn my fingers right now. This is also cool. Really love it. Backside. Oh, the possibilities. Now nah, this is yeah, this is okay. We already already tried colored cardstock. <laughs> I'm blowing. Really, really cool. What do I have here still? Oh, this is music paper. This will be the same, I think. It's vintage paper. Yeah, love it. All right, numbered paper. Then we have had all kinds of normal paper, I think. I can really make, oh, if I drag it down, I can make like a bigger hole. meshes love that you can uh, yeah, draw a little bit like that can I draw no it's too maybe on maybe on the cork because it is like a wood burning tool so it would be yeah, like a leaf Smelling like a campsite right now over here. <laughs> I just draw a leaf. If you push too hard, you'll push uh, through. So it's not really uh, working like that. All right. This for the normal paper. Now the specialty paper. Vellum. I've got. Um, ooh. Oh, this is great too. Love this. Is my point getting. Oh, it's burning my cork. <laughs> also, you can burn your cork with it. So now we know. I think the point is crooked. It's maybe is it too hot? No. All right, we will we will see. This is a oh, lovely love this. Really love it on vellum. And this is just thinner vellum. Just burning holes like this really love it all right so vellum is okay this is glassine paper yeah it's all the same i think it will be more interesting uh, when we try the transparencies and um, um and the photographs Really love this effect too on the glassine. Wow. This is like tissue paper, very thin. Oh, it might catch fire. <laughs> Have to be careful. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's okay, but I think it will catch fire if I hold it in too long. Still love the effect. This is, um, it's in between, I think it's glassine, printed glassine. It's, uh, these are sheets in uh, photo albums to uh, protect your photos. Yeah, love it, love it. You see, it's like crooked. Or am I wrong? I don't know. 
Okay, so these specialty papers are good also. This is uh, a coffee filter. Maybe this will catch fire too, I don't know. Oh, this, oh, this is lovely as well. It really gives a more nice burnt edge. I hope you can see it all. Love it. Um, I had some tea bags. It's quite the same. Oh, this is lovely. Love that. Oh, I have to be quick. Before it catches fire. Oh, this is cool. And then with a, a photo on the inside. This is great. Really love it. All right, all right. What do we have more? Shall we try all the um, fabrics? This is lace. Oh, oh, it cuts it. Okay, so no, no holes for the lace. <laughs> and I see it melts on my... I have some toilet paper over here it might burn but yeah but I saw the um, the lace left some bits on the on the on the nib on the point so I had to wipe it off so this will not work either I think oh so somewhat better It's not the effect that you're hoping for. Maybe a little bit. I like it better on... Uh, still love it. But I like it better on... You have a little bit of a burnt edge. I hope you can see. I like it better on the paper. Especially uh, this tea bag paper. Alright, what do we have more? Oh, this transparency. This is all like plasticky transparency and negatives. We will do them last. So if I die, <laughs> you know why. Um, I have photos and a vintage playing card. Ah, this is cool. This is really cool. Look at it. All right, I'm smelling like a uh, Girl Scout right now. <laughs> Sorry for everything uh, for everyone who's living here. This is a photo cut out of a book, so it is book paper. But maybe we can burn the edges like this. Oh, that is cool. You can use it to burn edges as well. And how does it work on the card? Oh, this is cool. Yeah. This is cool. Love it. I think I will use this one for my uh, Halloween journal project that I'm working on. I will uh, finish this one later. And what do, we, what do we have more? This is like a vintage photo, but it is newer paper. Uh, it's from Tim Holtz. It's from the photo booth. And it has a film uh, with the illustration on top. It's like shiny and plasticky. It works. But there is not really a... Um, now oh, here there is a burnt edge, I see. Mm. Oh, it changes color a bit. I think the layer that it is printed on, the illustration, it keeps it from burning a little bit. I have to work harder right now. It makes holes, it does the trick, but the effect is not what I wanted it to be. This is more really like grungy, 
really love it. But I think this plastic protector sheet, yeah, it is cool, but not what I wanted. This is a um, vintage photo, a real, uh, a real one. This is thinner paper, first the edges. I'm scared that I am will ruin. Oh, this is cool. The effect on the sides. Like an old treasure uh, map. Whee! Now for the burns. It is a vintage paper, but this is sort of a plasticky film. Love that effect. It is just like the Tim Holtz um, photo booth. It makes holes. It yeah, burns more on the back side than on the front side. But it's okay. It's still cool. I like it more on the vintage photo because I think this is also vintage paper. And this is newer paper. This is matte on the back side and this is shiny. So there is a, a little bit of difference. I like it on um, real vintage photos more than this one. Very cranky lady. <laughs> Let's try and burn the edges. That works. Let's try to make a hole. This is very thick. But it works. I have to work a little bit harder. Like so. Okay, I think I will use this one for my Halloween journal as well. I will finish this off in another video together with this one then oh it's really smelling right now <laughs> smelly it's smelly over here i'm glad i left the window open i will put it more open right now to get some more air in because this time we're going for the plasticky uh, materials projector overhead sheet thinner transparency this is a film strip and a photo negative let's start with this one and i think it will burn quite easily yes i thought so yes it makes holes no burning edges, like brown color, but that's okay. Oh, it's, it's sizzling. I cannot imagine this uh, being healthy. So I will try it out for you. But look at that effect. Really love it. Right now the film strip. Yes, yeah, the same. It's the same. Sizzling. Sizzling. But really cool. Not the burning effect on the sides. But still cool. So this will be the same as well. I will try. No, I will not try. I will use this in my Halloween journal as well. Just make some holes. You see, it, it leaves a sort of residue on my uh, on my nib. It's still burning. I do not want that. Okay, now it's clean. Very cool. Very, very cool. 
So this is the thicker overhead projector. Yeah, it's like the same. I think it's not the best idea to use transparencies or plasticky things. But <laughs> it still looks cool. I tried it out for you. Very cool. All right. I will put this out right now so you can cool off. You did your job. Thank you. It worked, ladies and gentlemen. I really love this effect. Look at the crunch. Look at the, all the loveliness. I think this is one of my favorites together with um, this tea bag. And of course, these ones. And yeah, I like it maybe even better on the vintage papers um, because they burn a little bit more uh, than the other ones. Oh, yeah, and I also love the Classine with the holes. So I hope you liked it. And give it a thumbs up and please let me know what you think and if you're willing to try it out. Maybe you already tried it out before. Um, so I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.